Fighting for survival, New York City horse carriage drivers are calling for a new stable in Central Park and more oversight for the popular tourist attraction. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer says the drivers are trying to save their industry after the dramatic collapse of an elderly horse in Midtown. Carriage rides have been offered in Central Park for 164 years. The men and women who currently operate them are determined to save their industry. They and their union unveiled a detailed Big Heart platform, new rules and regulations to improve oversight and care of the animals. It also calls for a new stable. A stable in the park that would mean that these horses no longer would have to commute through traffic from their stables on the West Manhattan West Side. We think it would be a win-win for everybody. The move comes after an elderly horse named Ryder dramatically collapsed in Hell's Kitchen last month on his way to the stable at the end of a long day working in the heat. The drivers say a new stable is just a ticket to improve the lives of the animals. But I didn't take their word for it. I asked 17-year-old Pepper. Pepper, would you like to have a stable in Central Park? What do you think? I'll take that to be a yes. The drivers are also calling for a full-time veterinarian to check the health of the horses, doubling the number of required medical checkups, earlier start times so horses can work during the cooler morning hours while still limiting the workday to nine hours. Drivers say they are a key part of the city's tourism industry. When you come to Central Park, this is one of the things that you want to do, and so, you know, when one in 11 New Yorkers is employed in tourism and hospitality and we're trying to recover from the pandemic, the fact that we're still here and people are still coming to ride and they love us, I mean, this, this is valuable for New York City. Advocates who want the carriage horses replaced with electric cars are cynical about the motives of the drivers. It's a really transparent, pathetic attempt for the carriage owners to try to suddenly pretend that they give a damn about the horses that they've been abusing, neglecting, lying to the world about, working elderly horses that are sick until they drop, until they crash into traffic or drop dead. A bill to replace the carriage horses, it's making its way through the city council. Mayor Adams has so far not signed on. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.